Hello everyone, welcome to Pip Code. I hope you all are doing good. Today we are going to see about SCTP features. Without any delay, we can move on to the topic. Okay. In the previous videos, we completed the introduction part. Then the second video, we completed the SCTP services. Now we are going to see about SCTP features. Okay. In SCTP features, we are going to see about the transmission sequence number, that is TSN, then the stream identifier, SI, stream sequence number, SSN, then packets, then acknowledgement number. Okay, these are the five topics we are going to see in this video. First one is transmission sequence number. Okay, first one is transmission sequence number. Uh, see, in TCP, Okay, in TCP, we are dividing our information into byte. Okay, we know that TCP is byte oriented, right? We are going to separate those into byte. For this, those bytes, we are just we are splitting the one data into the multiple bytes. We are giving the sequence number for each of the bytes. Right, see, we are going to give the sequence number. But in SCTP, in SCTP, we are going to split that split those into chunks. Okay, split those into the chunks. In the chunks, we are numbering those chunks. Okay, we are numbering those chunks. There is a no need of that having the one-to-one -one relationship between the messages. Okay, but in the TCP, we have a relation between one byte and the other byte, right? If it is an one byte, this is an other byte, we have those relations in, in those bytes, right? But while in the SCTP, there is a no necessary condition that it should have an one to one condition, right? We are giving the numbering for those chunks that is called TSN, that is transmission sequence number. Okay, TSN is usually present at the head. Okay, we are going to use the transmission sequence number for the data chunks, the splitting up of the data chunks. Okay, I hope you are clear. We know that in this, that is in CTP, okay, I'm giving some additional information. We have two chunks. One is like data chunks. Okay, then another one is like control chunks. I'll explain with those in the video. It is uh, under the topic of packets. I will explain those things. Now we should know about in TCP, we are we know that we are separating those particular data into bytes. In those bytes, we are giving the sequence number for those. Uh, likewise, in the SCTP, we have the chunks. In the chunks, um, that is, we are giving the number to those particular, it is particularly data chunks, okay? Data chunks. For those, we are using TSN, okay? This is all about the transmission number. Transmission sequence number, okay? The next one is stream identifier. Next one is stream identifier. Stream identifier is to distinguish between the different streams, okay? If we are having the two streams, we need to distinguish those streams, right? We need to distinguish those streams, right? That is, uh, we are having, we are giving the SI number to only one stream, okay? Only one stream. And the another stream is going to get an another sequence number, okay? That is, we are separating the streams. For those particular streams, we are giving an SI number. That is stream identifier number, okay? This is about stream identifier. Then, next one is stream sequence number. To distinguish between the different data chunks belonging to the same stream. Okay, we are giving the SSN numbers. Okay, that is, we are giving the for the whole data chunk, we are giving a number, that number is TSN. In those, we are having the multiple streams. For streams, we are giving the SI numbers, that is, stream identifiers, right? 
in particular stream identifier that is within the same stream we have different information for those we are gi giving ssn number i hope you understand right okay i will explain this clearly with an example then it will be easy okay 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 here we have one data chunk okay for this data sum, I am giving the TSN number. TSN number for one whole data, data chunk. Okay. In the data chunks, we have the strings. Okay. I have the stream. This is the one stream. It will be an another stream. Then it will be an another stream. These are having this number of stream identifiers. That is SA, right? Inside this. I am having little chunks. Okay. These are called, these are called SSN, stream sequence number. Okay. I hope you are clear what is TSN, what is SA, and what is SSN. Right. Uh, for different data chunks to the same stream. Okay. So that we are giving this. Next, packets. Next will be the packets. Okay, what is the packets? We should know to study about the packets. I am saying that we, we are having the data chunks. The data chunks should be present inside the uh, packets. So we should know about the packets, right? Then only we can find. Okay, listen. In the packets, we have this is for TCP and this is for SCTP. Okay, in the TCP, we have the header and options and then the data. Data, this is the data byte and options. We have the source port address, destination port address, sequence number, then acknowledgement number, then control flux window size, checksum agent pointer, options and then data bytes. Okay, listen, in TCP, we are going to take it as a segments. TCP. The information we are splitting up into then segments, there should be a relation between then one another information, right? Segments. But in SCTP, we are splitting those into chunks, like the data chunks and then the control chunks. Okay. We know that the TCP is like byte oriented, right? Byte oriented. It is chunks, chunks oriented. Okay. Fine. There is no difference in the header, but in TCP, we are splitting up the header and options together, then the data is different, right? But in the SCTP, we are splitting up the header, control, and then the data. In the hunter, in the header, we are having the source port address and the destination port address, verification tag, checksum, control junks, and the data junks. Okay. We are going to see about this in the our upcoming topics, right? Okay, first we will go. We are completed the transmission sequence number, stream identifier number, stream sequence number, then we are seeing the packets. Okay. I'm saying, right? I, I already told you that this is then stream. Okay, inside this we have the data chunks, right? There is an on packet. The packet is consist of header, Control chunks, TSN, SI, and SSN numbers, right? In uh, in the TSN, we have SI. In SI, we have SSN. Okay, like SSI 0, SSN 1, then SI 2, right? In those, we have the data chunks. First, we are transmitting this here. We are having 1, 2, 3, 4 informations, right? Let, let us take from this because they are saying that it is carried first, right? So if it is carried first, then it will be filled the first one, two, three. Then the, this information will be placed here. These three informations will be placed here, right? I hope you are clear, right? See, SSI 0, SSN, SSI 0, SSN 0. SSI, SSI 0, SSN 1, right? SSI 0, SSN 3, 2 and 3. In, in the second packet, we have 
SSI 0 lost by and then SSN 1, 3 chunks, right? Those are placed here. Okay. This one full transaction is stream 0. If, stream, if the 0 is completed, then it is stream 0, stream 1, stream 2. Okay. I hope you are clear about the packets and how it is happening. Right. Then, okay. <clears throat> this is the short note about the packets. Okay. So this one, this is a short note. See, data chunks are identified by the three identifiers. We know that one is TSN, another one is SI, then the another one is SSN. TSN is a cumulative number identifying the associations. Associations as we know that there is a multiple relations between the sender and the receiver. We are going to call it an association in SETP. TSS is a cumulative number that what are, how many multi homings or how many multi streams we are having that could be handled by the TSN. Right. SI is responsible for defining the streams. SSN is responsible for defining the chunks in the tree, stream, right? I hope you all are clear. Then we can move on to the acknowledgement number. See, we know that TCP is like byte oriented, right? TCP is byte oriented. Okay, SCTP is chunk oriented. Okay, in this we are having the sequence number. In this we are having TSN like okay it is clear then tcp acknowledgement number tcp requires acknowledgement number and the sequence number tcp requires acknowledgement number and the sequence number but in sctp we no need acknowledgement number or sequence number okay in TCP, we have this, we need those two. But in the SCTP, there is a no purpose of an acknowledgement number and then the sequence number. For example, in, uh, like in TCP, it, we know that it is in three-way communication. We are using SYN, okay? And then while we are getting ACK, that is acknowledgement, then we are going to send the messages, right? But in the SCTP, we have the... But in the SCTP, the acknowledgement is also carried out by the control chunks. SCTP, the acknowledgement is also going to carried out by the carried out by the control chunks. That is, if the particular information is sharing from the one chunks to the another junction, it is carried by the control chunks itself. The acknowledgement number. We have some operations in the each operations. We have the acknowledgement number. For example, if we have init operations. We can see it in the packet format, okay, in the upcoming video, okay. If it does an init operation, then we can have the init acknowledgement into that. Likewise, in all the operations, we are having the acknowledgement corresponding to that because it is going to carry it out by the control chunks. There is a no need of sequence or acknowledgement number in SCT. Fine. In SCTP, the acknowledgement numbers are used to the acknowledge only the data chunks. Okay. Control chunks are acknowledged by the other control chunks if necessary. Okay. One control chunks is going to, for the data chunks only, we need an acknowledgement that will be give, give like this. Then the control chunks can be acknowledged with the help of the other control chunks if it is necessary. Right. This is all about the control number. I hope you all are clear. We saw the packets, then we saw the acknowledgement. Okay. TSN is we are giving the particular uh, accumulation of association, cumulative association number. In you know, in shortly we can say that cumulative association number will be in TSN. Stream identifier, the particular streams have a different identifier. In those, we have an SSN. That is the sequence of, uh, sequence of streams is called an SSN. Those, these three things are combined together are called then packets. Through these packets, the client and the server are getting information with the help of the identification of TSN, SI, and then SSN. It is chunk-oriented, totally chunk-oriented, right? So in the acknowledgement number, there is a no, uh, for the data chunks only, we need an acknowledgement number. 
and then while for the control jumps there is a no need of acknowledgement number because each acknowledgement is carried out by the other acknowledgement numbers if it is necessary right this is all about sctp futures i hope you understood what is sctp futures okay in the next video we can see about the packet formats thank you for watching have a great day